Alright, now I want to address this once and for all. I'm getting tired of people talking about the illegal alien situation, alright? They're not undocumented workers. They're not just here trying to feed their families. They're criminals. You and I, we break a law, we're labeled a criminal. They broke a law to get in the United States. They continue to break laws every single day. Don't get me wrong. I've been to these countries. If I was in their situation, I would want to come to America too. I don't fault the people. I fault what our countries have allowed these people to do. There's a correct process to get into this country. I've helped many, many people from China and Vietnam get into this country legally. And when I have to sit there and I have to explain to them how Pedro and Julia can just cross the Rio Grande and come into America and be rewarded for illegal behavior, I have a hard time explaining that to them. And it's not the language barrier. It's the fact that it doesn't make sense. My friends, we've had to spend a lot of money, a lot of time. Lawyers have had to pull miracles out of the air to get these people in here illegally. And they're productive, tax-paying citizens. They're not living off the system. They're contributing to the system. When I hear people talk about they're doing jobs that Americans won't do, not anymore. Not anymore it's not like that. The unions are out there pushing for the illegals. You know why they're pushing for the illegals? Because they want to get them into the service trade industry. They want to get them into to the, the SEIU, get to become union people. So no longer will you have the cheap labor that you think that you're going to be able to capitalize on now. Both parties are guilty of this. All right? They're illegal aliens. That means they're criminals. There's a proper way that we can address this. But it's not just letting them come over here and rewarding them by allowing them to become citizens with a small fine. And now, these people aren't going to sign up for anything. That's the reason that up until now they can break all these laws. They don't even have to show up for court. They change IDs left and right with everybody. What person's going to come in there and say, no, you don't, you don't look like Garcia? No. Nobody's going to touch that. The ACLU will be on them in a second. All right? You go out west. When I was in California and I was in Vegas, spent all that time in Texas, that whole des desert is just inundated with just filth and debris and trash that's left all over the place. Where's the environmentalists on this? Aren't they worried about these people trashing the, the natural habitat? Aren't they worried about this? No. And it's not just the Mexicans that are doing this and the people from Central and South America. Once again, I don't fault the people. I want a better life too. I would do the same. But there's got to be a proper way to do this. Mixed into the mix, we only know about the Hispanic people that are doing this. There's also all kinds of Muslim people. They're finding prayer rugs, they're finding Korans out there, and those people come across, and the next thing you know, they blend into the Hispanic community, and that's where we get the sleeper cells. And the next thing you know, we've got real problems, and nobody can be traced. Everybody makes the argument, well, they're, they're paying taxes. No, they're paying sales tax when they buy something. They're paying a couple of fees when they get this and that. They're not paying federal income tax. Big difference there. But they're, re reap, they're reaping all the rewards that our country has to offer, from educating their children, all the free health care, food stamps, you name it. Every, every kind of government program that they possibly can, can take advantage of, they've signed up already. Because we got people in their own language giving them booklets on how do you get the most out of America. All right? We need people coming to this country that are going to contribute. We need a certain percentage of the very highly educated, certain percentage of the middle class, and we always want to try to help the, the people from the lower echelon. All right? These people didn't come here for the American dream as much as they came here for what can the American dream provide for them. We need people giving as well as receiving. I want people to be able to come to this country because that's what this country was founded on, all right? It was supposed to be a soup bowl. We're a mixture of everything. Well, a soup, after you cook it, it starts blending together. Right now, we got a garden salad. The tomatoes and the lettuce that will never mix. It will always be two different things. We're allowing these people to have their own television stations, their own radio stations. Everybody's on the Internet now. They can call back from home for next to nothing with these, these calling cards. They never have to learn English. We're all supposed to speak English. We're supposed to be unified by a common bond, and that's supposed to be our language. 
Now we've made it too easy. We've got three generations of people here that don't even know how to say yes or no in, in, in English. What is that? Come on, people. We've got to get serious about this. We can't afford to help out the world anymore because we can't even pay our own bills. I'm going to have a lot more to say about this, but I want you guys to think about it. We've got to take back financially the situation in this country. This is what's happened to California. That's the reason that state is broke right now and half the hospitals have closed their doors. We can't afford to do everything for everybody anymore. And if people aren't going to control how many kids they have, then none of this 12 million people are here illegally. Uh-uh. That's a myth. When people are reproducing like rabbits and their religion dictates to them that they're not allowed to, to perform any kind of birth control measures, the next thing you know, they get here, that 12 becomes 36 real quick. We can't afford it anymore. When everybody used to come into Ellis Island, legally I might add, it said bring us your poor, your tired, your hungry. Well now we're just saying bring us your poor. Sorry guys, there's opportunity here, but we've got to use our heads on this. That's a beautiful thing.